Hey there, adventurers. Welcome to the icy, chilly, and totally awesome world of the polar regions. Today, we're taking you on an epic journey to explore the coldest places on Earth, the Arctic and Antarctica. Get ready to meet some amazing animals, learn crazy cool facts, and discover how life survives in these frozen lands. So bundle up, because it's going to be a frosty adventure. The Earth has two frozen ends, one at the top and one at the bottom. The Arctic is at the North Pole, and Antarctica is at the South Pole. These places are super cold all year round, covered in ice and snow. But did you know the Arctic and Antarctica are very different? The Arctic is actually an ocean covered by ice, while Antarctica is a huge continent covered in ice. That means the Arctic is mostly frozen water, and Antarctica is solid land buried under ice. Crazy, right? Let's play a game. Can you guess which pole is colder? That's right. Antarctica is way colder than the Arctic. The Arctic can be as cold as minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 45 degrees Celsius, but Antarctica holds the record for the coldest temperature ever recorded, minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 89.2 degrees Celsius. Brr. If you were there without warm clothes, you'd feel colder than an ice cube in a freezer. Now, let's talk about the Arctic. Even though it's freezing cold, lots of animals call this icy world home. One of the most famous Arctic animals is the polar bear. Polar bears are like the kings and queens of the ice. They have thick fur and a layer of fat called blubber that keeps them warm. And guess what? Even though they look white, their skin is actually black. Their fur just reflects the light, making them look snowy white. Polar bears are excellent swimmers, too. They can swim for miles without stopping, using their powerful paws like paddles. But they need sea ice to hunt for food, mostly seals. As ice melts due to climate change, it becomes harder for them to find food. That's why protecting their habitat is super important. Another cool Arctic creature is the Arctic fox. These little guys have a secret power. In the winter, their fur turns pure white to blend in with the snow. But when summer comes, their fur changes to brown or gray to match the rocks and dirt. Talk about a fashion change. Arctic foxes have small ears and short noses to help them keep warm. And guess what? They can survive in temperatures as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 50 degrees Celsius. Wow. And check out these big fellas walruses. These guys love to chill on ice and dive into the freezing water. Their giant tusks help them climb out of the water onto the ice, like nature's built-in ice picks. Walruses also use their tusks to fight off predators and even to break through the ice when they need to breathe. And did you know? A group of walruses is called a herd. The Arctic is also home to snowy owls, who can fly silently through the snow, and caribou which migrate long distances every year. And let's not forget the mysterious narwhal, also called the unicorn of the sea because of its long, spiraled tusk. Scientists still aren't sure exactly what narwhals use their tusks for, but they might help in hunting or even sensing changes in the water. Now, let's travel all the way to the South Pole, Antarctica. It's even colder than the Arctic. And guess who loves it here? Penguins. Lots and lots of penguins. The biggest one of them all is the emperor penguin. These super tough birds can survive the harshest winters, even when it's colder than minus 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Brr. There are different kinds of penguins in Antarctica, including Adelie, Chinstrap, and Genta penguins. Penguins don't fly, but they can slide on their bellies across the ice, which is called tobogganing. It's their version of sledding. Another Antarctic superstar is the Weddell seal. These seals are like ice divers. They can hold their breath for over an hour while they swim under the ice. How cool is that? They even use their teeth to carve breathing holes in the ice so they can get air while they're swimming. Antarctica is also home to tiny krill, which are like the snacks of the ocean. Penguins, seals, and even whales love to eat them. And speaking of birds, the wandering albatross, with its enormous wingspan, soars over the icy waters. Plus, there are orcas, also known as killer whales, who are smart, fast, and great hunters. Unlike Antarctica, where only scientists visit, people actually live in the Arctic. The Inuit people have called the Arctic home for thousands of years. 
They've adapted by wearing warm clothing made from animal skins and building igloos, houses made of snow that trap heat inside. Some Inuit communities still follow their traditional way of life, hunting for food and traveling by dog sleds. Now, here's something magical. Have you ever heard of the Northern Lights or the Southern Lights? These are colorful, glowing waves of light that dance in the sky over the polar regions. They happen when the sun's energy hits Earth's atmosphere. In the Arctic, they're called the Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis. And in Antarctica, they're called the Southern Lights, or Aurora Australis. They look like nature's own fireworks. The polar regions are super special, but they need our help. Because of climate change, the ice is melting faster than ever, and that's making life harder for polar animals. But don't worry, we can all help. Simple things like using less plastic, turning off lights when we don't need them, and planting trees can make a big difference. If we all work together, we can keep the Arctic and Antarctica icy and awesome for future generations. Thanks for joining us on this chilly adventure. If you had fun, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join us for more amazing journeys on Kids Craze Tunes. We have so many exciting places to explore and fun facts to share. See you next time, little explorers. Stay curious and keep adventuring.